Today we're going to look at a simple application of Telerik's RAD barcode, part of Telerik's RAD controls for Silverlight and WPF control suite for .NET XAML development. But before we start, let's talk about the series. So this is the third video in a three-part series of how to use the RAD barcode. In order to see the first two parts, check out Silverlight under tv.telerik.com. So in part one of the series, uh, we pretty much started with a file new project inside of Visual Studio 2010 and created a RAD barcode. In the second part of the series, we looked at a couple of additional RAD barcode features and formats. And we talked a little bit about the different barcode types and what industries that they may be used in. In this part of the series, we're going to look at a real world example of using the RAD barcode that involves our RAD book controls, as well as show you how to print barcodes in a Silverlight application. Let's go ahead and get started inside of Visual Studio 2010. So here we are, we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010 with a brand new RAD barcode project, and I already have the proper references added to my project to use RAD barcode. Uh, but in this application, I'm also going to use the RAD book, so I need to go ahead and add those references to the project. I can easily do that by going to Telerik, RAD controls for Silverlight, and configure project, and putting a check in radcontrols.navigation. So once I put a check in telerik.windows.controls.navigation and hit finish, you'll see that that reference has been added to my project. The other thing to notice here is that the XML namespace Telerik has been added for us. So now we're ready to begin working with Radbook and Telerik's Rad barcode. So we are going to come down to our grid and we're going to type in Telerik and we're just going to type Rad Book and we'll go ahead and give this a name of Rad Book and we'll set the margin to 50 and the write page index will be set to 1. Now the write page index is just going to get or set the index of the right page of the book. So now that we have our RAD book added to the Silverlight application, we're going to go ahead and add in several RAD book items. So I'm going to come here and I'm actually just going to paste in a code snippet. And as you can see here, I've added five different items. The first item is white, then we have a blue violet, we have a rosy brown, and as you notice the page animations in the designer as I go through this to a chocolate and then finally a uh, bluish color. So if I come back up, we're ready to start adding some code to each one of these pages to display a rad barcode. So on each of these pages, um, I'm going to simply say uh, the page, page number, and maybe an item and a description and that's pretty much going to be it and of course we're going to put the barcode on each one of the pages as well so let's begin so the first item I'm just going to paste in some code that I have here and so you see we now have our page we have an item one a description one and we have a barcode that's down at the bottom of the page. We also have a button that I've added that is just simply called print me and we're going to show a sample of actually uh, putting a little code behind to print the barcode in the page. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add a click event handler but we're going to actually add the code in just a moment. So I click back on the main page and I'm going to go ahead and continue adding some code behind for each one of these book items. So in my second item, I'm going to simply display the page number, the item, and the description. 
and the same sort of information will be displayed in the third page, the fourth page, and the fifth page. So now if I scroll back up to the top and we actually run this application, we'll see that we have our book control. We have our page item description, we have a barcode, and then we have a button for print me, which I'm actually going to add some code in just a minute. And then we have our second page, that, and our third page, fourth page, and then finally our last page. So you can kind of imagine this as some sort of catalog that your user may be going through. And on each of these items, of course, you could add in images and uh, other information that may be important to your user. Let's go ahead and switch back to Visual Studio and add some code for that print button. So back in Visual Studio, I'm going to go to my main page and the main page.xaml .cs down here and we'll see here that we have a document dot print page we have a sender we have an event args args dot page visual is this dot radbook item one and then of course the document dot print silverlight dot print application demo so this right here is right now as a unknown member and I did that as well to show you that if you switch back over to our main page and we go to our first item which is listed here and we give this a name of rad book item one that if the user double clicks that print button that the page visual uh, which is the visual element to print will be set to that rad book item. So let's go ahead and let's print, let's run the application. And now that we are running the application, if we hit print me, we'll just go ahead and send this to maybe something like snag it and we'll hit the print button. You can see that our item is ready to be printed. And of course you could send this to any sort of uh, PDF or laser or any sort of printer. I want to thank you for checking out our three-part series on the RAD barcode. Please tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements.